Hey everyone, Lavely here with another video. Today I am very excited to be opening what I'm going to say is my first Monster High doll. Now you might be wondering why <laughs> the quotation marks, and it's because technically speaking they're not my first. Um, I did way back in the day attempt to customize a Monster High doll. Actually two, a friend and I both as like a fun project customized a couple of dolls. I got them second hand. I never quite finished mine. The sealant I used wasn't MSC and let's just say it reacted badly. <laughs> we did a full reroute which I mean you can see here like I went all out. This is quite <laughs> quite a lot of fiber we've got but hey it was meant for a fun decora kind of vibe but yeah the face just didn't quite react well to the sealant. So I ended up benching the project and haven't exactly touched her since. Around the same time, I also bought this Abby Bomberable Bubble, <laughs> this Abby doll. I'm pretty sure this is a Draculaura dress, and unless I'm mistaken, I think these are Ever After High shoes. I intended on customizing her too, but clearly have not got there. But with that context out of the way, this is why I'm here today. I really, really, really want to open her. She's been looking at me for a while. She's so cute. I saw her in stores here in New Zealand, which shocked me. I know other places in the world have had these for a long time. I was beginning to think we'd never see them over here, and when we did, I snapped her up. Um, thankfully, there was one that I liked the look of. Her bangs aren't super, like, even on the split at the front. Hopefully you can see it, but there's like ever so slightly an amount of black on the pink side. Personally, I think it adds to her charm and everything else about her seems flawless. With the exception of my OMGs, I do consider myself to be more of an inbox collector, but from time to time I am weak and I just feel the need to hold these dolls in my hand. And considering I have never held a Generation 3 Monster High doll, Specifically Draculaura, who is by far my favorite out of them all. I just, I think it needs to happen. But I still kind of want to have her in box. <laughs> so when I came across her in another store, well, yeah, you, you, you see what happened. Which means I can have one out of box and one in box, so I'm covering all bases. I have actually got a couple of other Draculauras on the way. I've got the Creepover, I think that's what it's called, and the Gorgonizer Draculaura, so that's gonna be cool. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get doubles of those though. Depending on how we go today, we'll, I guess, determine whether or not I keep the others in box or not. Anyway though, enough talking, let's get on to the unboxing. Okay, so this is the one I'm unboxing today. It's the one with the slight uh, mismatch of the split die. You might be wondering why I'm opening her as opposed to the other, and well, I mean, <laughs> I, I thought about it for a while. It was a tricky decision. Uh, this one's bangs are slightly separated. I don't know if you can see that. And I feel like I can tolerate it in box, but out of box it would annoy me. So that's kind of reason number one. The other reason is that in the one I'm planning to open, Laguna on this like cardboard character thing here is slightly bent backwards. So I feel like this one just is a better display and box kind of doll, whereas this one needs to be opened. I do feel like we should take a moment to just appreciate how gorgeous she looks in box. It really just drew me to her. I'll be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of Monster High back in the day. To be fair, I wasn't collecting Playline dolls at the time, I was in the midst of saving for my BJDs. Don't get me wrong, I appreciated their designs and I loved what people do with them, but as far as going to purchase them myself new or otherwise, I just wasn't too fussed. But something about the G3 dolls, specifically Draculaura, just spoke to me. I love her body shape, I love her face, I love her bangs and the split die just I needed to get her. Funnily enough the other ghouls don't interest me the most at least not yet. From what I've seen of Abby Abominable uh, I don't think she's actually out yet but from what I've seen of her redesign maybe I'll pick her up but in the meantime I'm gonna limit my collecting to Draculaura. But enough with that let's get to opening her. Is 
She is stunning. Oh my gosh. I need to get her out. I just want to play with her already. Okay, she is out of the box and I'm in love. Um, this is such a nice doll. Oh my gosh, she feels so sturdy. The detail, excuse me. I know from watching other videos that she is shorter than the other ghouls. Um, honestly, even without the others for comparison, I can see it, I can feel it. She definitely feels more petite in like the best way possible. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm so impressed. These shorts are so cute with the little fangs, but like my favorite by far is this top and this skirt. I guess it's a dress piece thing. I think it's its own thing. Yeah, this top over top is, um, you can take that off and then you just have the sheer one underneath. I love this sheer piece. It just adds so much depth and detail to the doll. I'm not usually the biggest pink fan, but honestly, I'm willing to look past it for Draculaura. She is just so cute. It suits her so well. And I mean, I, yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> she has chest articulation too. So like her posing is going to be next level. But seriously, the details on her, from her earrings to her ears, she's got little elf ears. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so dainty too, look at them. The fact that the earrings are as like detailed as this is very impressive. I love that they are on opposite sides for color to her hair, that's pretty cool. The bow on her top is actual material. They could have easily made that like, I don't know, something simpler, but it's like a really nice piece. And there's even this little like gem necklace thing underneath the bow that's a little plastic sculpted piece. This corset type top thing that's sitting on top of the sheer top has its own pattern on it and it has stitching to add extra detail there. And I know I've already sung the praises of this sheer top, but just look at those poofy sleeves. She comes wearing a ring. It's rubber banded to her hand, so it's not gonna go anywhere, which is great. I know some people aren't a fan, but personally, I think it suits her. The black lace socks are gorgeous. I love how they've even got little ruffles on the top. And her shoes are also rubber banded on so that they're not gonna fall off. They're kind of simple, kind of chunky, but in the best way possible. At the front, they have a heart and little bat wings either side, kind of like the strap, which is really cool and they have a decent heel on them. Her hair feels reasonably soft. I'm by no means an expert on Playline doll hair. It's not quite as soft as what I've experienced with a few of my OMGs, but I've definitely felt worse. Her headband is also attached to her head, by the way. I'm gonna leave it that way. I think it's in a great position, and I know that if I take it off, I'm not going to be able to get it quite right again. We don't just get the doll though, we also have a bunch of accessories. First up is this backpack. It's all plastic, but it has detailing on the front to make it look as if it's quilted. And it's not super hard, it is squishable. You can open it somewhat to put things inside, although I wouldn't do it too hard because doing that just now, I did feel it split slightly. I love the little bat wings on it, and of course the strap so that we can put it on Draculaura. She comes with this additional clothing piece. It's a little capelet type thing. Personally, I'm not a fan. I don't think I'm gonna be putting it on her. I think her outfit is perfect as it is, but it's cute. Hey, maybe we can put it onto her pet or, well, it's a bit big. <laughs> maybe not. And this little fella is Count Fabulous. They are so, so cute. Uh, definitely gonna look super sweet displayed next to Draculaura. We also get a couple of food and drink items. We have this little pretzel which can come out of its little case. It has little eyes on it which is interesting and little wings too. We have this cup with a straw and a handle. 
and it has cherries on it so I guess we're led to believe this is cherry juice although the blood drips may say otherwise we have a little cell phone type item this is what she was holding in the box on display I might have to find a way to get her to hold it again because it is so so detailed hopefully you can see it okay but there are even little icons on there for the different apps that she has Next is this bottle of SPF 500 sunscreen. Love that our vampire girl is sun smart. And then finally is a pair of glasses. They have little bat wings on them. They're pretty cute. Here are the glasses on the doll. You can kind of see through them. I'll admit though, I'm missing seeing her eyes, so I don't think I'm going to display her in these. All in all, I am absolutely in love with this doll. I'm so happy I was able to pick her up. It's really exciting to have a new character that I want to collect the dolls of, although I'm somewhat scared for my wallet. <laughs> Do let me know if you want to see more of my Draculaura or Monster High collecting journey here. But that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. It has been Lavely, and I'll catch you again sometime soon.